Okay, people, come on, we've been doing this for an hour now. We need a theme for next year. Tim, I feel like the together sounds kind of socialist. Hi, Freedom Tini, straight old fashioned version. Yeah, what I think is most important is changing the culture of politics. I agree 100%. I mean, no more defeatism or business as usual. Exactly. I mean, that's why I feel like what we're doing is really making a difference. Are you sick? Oh, no, it's just a painkiller. You okay? Anything broken? <laughs> just my career and my life, so I abuse painkillers and drink too much. Defeatism, I know. I'm a liberal. It's not your problem. Uh, um, so, Freedom Teeny and Old Fashioned. There you go. So what are you, uh, an actor or something? Was. I quit. You quit? Yeah, it seemed like the only dignified thing to do, you know? Boy, if you think there's anything dignified about quitting... Well, the undignified part comes when I move back in with my parents. Mind if I give you a little advice? Sure. When I used to feel like quitting, my father would say this. Jim Abbott. Ugh, great man. That's the advice. Yeah. Jim Abbott. Jim Abbott was born with one hand, okay? He went on to pitch in the majors. You should tell him about Oscar Pretorius. Sprinter, yep. no legs. Maybe you've heard of Max Cleland, by yes. chance? Yes, didn't let being a multiple amputee stop him from being a U.S. senator. Of course I disagreed with his politics. Me too, but, you know, he didn't quit. That's yeah. the point I'm trying to make. Sure, and I've got all my parts. Right. See, it's a choice. I mean, you can choose to be a victim, or you can choose to achieve your goals. Yep. Freedom of choice, That's my right. friend. That is what makes this country so great. Shrimp. That's very un-PC. That's not what I meant. No, I no, no. Even if you did, miss. No, we're not the PC police, so you don't have to worry about it, you know? Okay. Freedom of speech. That is what makes this country so great. Why don't you just go ahead and say it? Say it? You're a shrimp. Say it. You're a shrimp. I know, and that's why I try harder. Jim Abbott. Exactly. exactly. That's right. There yeah. you go. Thank you. Cheers. 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 It's a free market issue! Why not give him the best cigars? Because we can't condone communism, Jeff. Communism? Yeah. Communism! Well, obviously, that's not a message we want to send to the governor or to the right, nation. You know what? You know what? We'll vote. Okay, bottom line. We either give him a new gift or we'll give him the cigar. Exactly. Jesus, it's a tie. We got a tie. And a tie is broken by the vice president, and I'm the oh. vice president, so, so I guess there you go. Well, that didn't work. He's a gay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, what is this, Jim Crow? Huh? I can't believe what I'm hearing here. What? The black guy's vote doesn't count, and that's okay with all of you? Wait, no, miss, you don't. What, I don't have the right to speak? Because I'm a woman? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Okay, Todd is from Toronto. I am so, so sorry. You're sorry? Ron, you were burning an American flag. For Arnold Schwarzenegger. And hey, this lighter isn't even mine. It's Henry's. No, it's not. Liar. What did I say about excuses, huh? Well, you're against I'm them. I'm against them. Exactly. Hate them. Excuse me, gentlemen. Is one of you Jeffrey Elves? It's me. Hi. Hi. Dan Wisner with the governor's office. The governor's been held up on a legislative emergency and won't be able to come. But I wanted to thank you for... It's, uh, part of our gift for... Governor Schwarzenegger. <clears throat> Anyone know how to fold this? I think it's just a little. Yeah. So no one else, right?